So in this question, they want us to prove that the left hand side equals to 2 over sine x. So first I'm going to change everything into terms of sine and cosine. So 10 equals to sine over cosine. And secant is 1 over cosine. So that will be plus 1 plus 1 over cosine x over sine x over cosine x. And now I'm going to make the denominator the same. So that's sine x over cosine x over cosine x plus 1 over cosine x. Same with the other one. So cosine x plus 1 over cosine x. And divide it by sine x over cosine x. So what I can do now is I could just flip the fraction to make it into a multiple. So that would be sine x over cosine x multiply with cosine x over cosine x plus 1. Notice how I flip the fraction. Same thing with the other one. So that's cosine x plus 1 over cosine x. Sorry, let me just fix that. Multiply with cosine x over sine x. So now we can just simplify it by crossing out the cosine x and that would be sine x over cosine x plus 1 plus with cosine x plus 1 over sine x. Now I'm going to make the denominator the same again. So that would be sine square x plus cosine square x plus 2 cosine x plus 1 over sine x multiply with cosine x plus 1. Now you should know that sine square x plus cosine square x equals to 1. So that would be 2 cosine x plus 2. over sine x multiply with cosine x plus 1. Now I'll just factorize the two out so that's 2 cosine x plus 1 over sine x cosine x plus 1. Again you can simplify it and giving us the final answer which is 2 over sine x. Moving on to the second part of the question. So we know that this equals to 2 over sine x. So now I'm just going to do 2 over sine x equals to 1 plus 3 sine x. Now I'm going to multiply sine x to both sides. So that would be 2 equals to sine x plus 3 sine square x. Now I'm going to rearrange it and you can see that it's a quadratic equation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the quadratic equation but first we'll have to factorize it and that would be 3 sine x minus 2 and sine x plus 1 equals to 0. So the range is 0 to 180 so I'm going to draw the quadrant for you. So the part where I shade it is the part that we don't want because it is more than 180. Now that we have that in mind, we can continue answering a question. So 3 sine x minus 2 equals to 0. Sine x equals to 2 over 3. So x equals to the inverse of sine 2 over 3. And that would give me an answer of 41.8. Now x is also 180 minus 41.8 giving us 138.2 now what about sine x plus 1 so sine x equals to negative 1 since there's a negative we know that the x is going to lie on the tangent and cosine quadrant but we do not want that because it is more than 180 so our final answer is x equals to 41.8 and x equals to 138.2.